Okay, so uh, where are we going again, Tuke? Gee, you never remember anything. Okay, we're going over here to the cave that tells the story on the wall. Hey, I remember. You don't have to get sore about it. So, what story does it tell, eh? <sighs> the one about the bear who said he wasn't a bear. Oh, yeah. I know that one, like the back of my hoof. So, how does it start again? All right, in his totem ceremony, the human called Kenai got the bear as his totem. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. And the shaman told him that bear equals love. But he thought that was silly, eh, because he wanted the totem of the moose, right? Yeah. No, no, no you hoofer, because he wanted to be like a saber-toothed tiger. Anyway, if you don't mind, I'm going to continue the story. Kenai went off by himself and got into a big fight with a bear. Then his brothers, Sitka and Danahi, came to the rescue. So, would you rescue me? <laughs> You'd have to rescue me, because I'm like the tasty looking one. Yeah, tasty like rotten fish, eh? <laughs> hey, that's not funny. Bears like rotten fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot, eh? Sorry. Okay, go ahead anyway, eh? Go ahead. So anyway, his older brother Sitka held off the bear while his two brothers got away. But then the ice cracked, and both Sitka and the bear fell into the river far below. Well, now you ready? Because this is the sad part. Hold on, give me a second. <gasps> okay, I'm ready. Go the ahead. The bear was the only one who came oh, back out again. Gee, this is a sad story, eh? Not if you're a bear, eh? Oh, yeah. Right. So, is that it? What? No, no, no. Then Kenai went hunting for the bear to avenge his brother. He found her Did and she they eat him? Kenai killed the bear, but since the bear was Kenai's spirit totem, the spirits got involved. Oh, okay, the spirit of Sitka, he's the eldest brother, came down and transformed Kenai into a bear. Ooh, beauty. Hey, I hope you like being a bear too, eh? If not, maybe we could make him a moose. Hey, don't go giving away our parts. All right. Later, eh? Yeah, we'll see, eh? Okay, remember how we first met that bear and how he caused that big avalanche? Oh, yeah, that was real scary, eh? place where the light touches the earth. Hey, I know that place. It's right by the salmon run. That's where I'm going. Come on, we can go together. Hmm. Okay. But as soon as we get there, you're on your own, kid. Oh, my name's not kid. It's Koda. Koda. Right, kid. Let's get going then. I don't have all day. This is going to be fun. I just know it. Hey, Kenai, you want me to sing? No.
keen eye. See that honeycomb? Be sure you always grab them. They'll help us find secrets later. Hey, keen eye. I bet you can jump over stuff like this log by hitting the right mouse button or the control key. Go on, give it a try. See those bushes? They sure look like they could use a good swat. All you gotta do is press the action or the left mouse button. Then the path will be nice and clear. Ah, these purple flowers taste really bitter. again. Just look for these acorns and they'll help you stop itching. Go on, try some. Oh, wouldn't you know it? It's those itchy shrubs again. There's a lot more of them this time. Come on, let's find another way. But Kenai, we have to go this way. Okay then, let's get this over with. Itchy. Hey, look! There's a pool full of fish! Mom says they'll make us feel even better than those acorns. Just run over them to grab them. Let's go, Kina. I, I gotta stop itching. that this one might come in handy later. Huh. I was here once with my mom. <laughs> I love chasing butterflies. I'd move that rock, but you look like you really wanted to it. So, go ahead. Let's head back to that cool rock with all the paintings on it. Hey, Sam, and let's go eat. Poor bear, you don't know much about being a bear, do you? Well, you can climb things by running towards them. You'll jump right up and over. It's easy. Try it. Those salmon will make you real strong, Kenai. Then you can be a raging ball of brown fur. Uh, just like Coda, me. Uh, how are we gonna make it up there? On these things, my mom used to let me bounce on them while she was looking for food. It's really fun. Right. Bounce on a branch. A and I suppose you can tell me how that works? Of course. All you gotta do is walk out to the end of that branch, hit the control key or right mouse button, and you'll fly up and on to the other side. Hey, that does sound like fun. Wait till you try it. And Kenai, the best part is you can do it whenever you see a bouncy branch. Yep. Yeah!
ancient secret caves. I've heard all about these. Oh, I don't know, Coda. What's that down there? Look! It's a special totem! Come on, Kenai, we gotta go check it out! The chipmunk is very good at collecting things that you might need later, and picks up everything in sight. You should see what the ones living in my cave have gathered. <laughs> but even though the spirit of the chipmunk is sometimes cautious about new things, this totem is always curious and full of wonder. This is the right way? Um, yeah, I think so. Uh-huh, yes, yes it is. What's that? What? That? That's one of those mystical totems. Don't tell me you've never heard of them. Come on, what are we waiting for? We gotta go see if we can get up there. Ooh, my favorite, orange berries. We'll have to eat a lot of these so we can use that eagle totem up there. I suppose you need me to tell you how to eat berries, too? Just push the action or left mouse button, then walk over them. What would you do without me? Oh, and we're gonna need a whole tummy full of orange berries to make the eagle totem work. Here, you do it. Then we'll go try out that totem. You gotta remember, whenever you see the eagle totem, make sure you have a belly full of orange berries or else you can't use it. stand a chance. <laughs> That's what you think. I was the fastest cub in the Bramble races last year. Just ask anyone at the Salmon Run. Hey guys, how about starting us off on a race to the top of the mountain? Not now, eh? I'm resting my antlers. These things are heavy. Hey, Smallish Bear. I'll do it, eh? Ready, set, get more set! <laughs> Just kidding, eh? Go! as a hunter. Got it? Right. Okay, I got it. 
The hunter is chasing After us! <gasps> uh, Kina, now would be a really good time to use that totem. Hey, quit jabbering. Let's get out of here, eh? No kidding, Nate, let's go. You don't gotta tell me twice. To knock back the hunter, get real close and roar at him. That'll slow him down. Then you can get closer and roar again, and it'll scare him even more. <laughs> 